Okay, this one we're going to be talking about. I want to let everybody know, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, about what's called priority mail with the U.S. Post Office. They say that the packages will be delivered in one to three days based upon how far it's going there in the U.S. by priority mail. But it's, and you pay a lot more for priority mail than you do for first class mail. But it's really all a scam because first off, first class mail is delivered one to three days in the U.S. based upon what it is. It's the same exact time. And I didn't write down the wording, but if you look on the USPS website and you look at priority mail and where they talk about, oh, it's one to three days and they give the details, and you look at the bottom, they have all these footnotes. And when I look, footnote number eight basically told you that when you get something priority mail, all they do is they throw it in the same bin. They lump it all in with the first class mail. It's not treated any differently. And then they just deliver it when they deliver it. They don't guarantee, they say the packages are delivered one to three days, but then it tells you at the bottom, that's not a guarantee. That's just an estimate. And they don't guarantee it's going to be that long. And really what they're doing is, and they're trying to get money from people, more money from people because, Ama, well, it all started with Amazon because Amazon used, they got their own trucks now, but they used to use the post office for their all their deliveries. And the post office wanted their business, so they gave Amazon, they give businesses these low rates compared to what normal people get. And so what it's done is it's made it harder for normal people, more expensive to ship things. It used to be when you had the post office, you could send something first class, or if it was a big box that you had and you just wanted to get the items there, you could send a parcel post. And that was just the, that's the slow way. So if a, if a first class package would take one to three days, parcel post would probably take a week, maybe even two weeks to get there. It'd take a long time. But you would pay, you know, a pretty good rate. Well, then once Amazon got in there and they were, you, the post office was giving these low rates to Amazon and to these businesses with these big volumes, well, now the post office had to make up for it. So then they got the, the got the regular person who's just like, like you want to send, say you want to send a Christmas gift to uh, your relative and they're in a different state. Used to, you could just send it uh, first class, of course they had the parcel, the, uh, the priority mail, but you could send it first class or if you wanted it faster, you could send priority mail or if you wanted, if it was a big package and you weren't in a hurry, you could send a parcel post. But then what they did, because of them losing business, uh, or losing money on these big businesses, now with the little man, they don't have first class anymore over a certain size. If the package is bigger than a certain size, you cannot send it first class. It has to go priority mail. And you may say, well, I don't want to send it priority mail. It's too expensive. Tough. That's your only choice. You can say, well, I want to send a parcel post. Nope. They eliminated that. No more parcel post. No more first class for big packages. If it's a, And when I say big package, it's not big. If it's just a real small box, that's considered, oh, that's priority mail. And so they, what they've done is they relabeled it. They call it priority mail to make you think, oh yeah, well, yeah, I'm paying a lot more, but at least it's gonna get there faster. But you read their website and it tells you it's just lumped in with the first class stuff. It's not gonna get there any faster. Whether I send a priority mail or first class, it didn't matter. But what they did, it was the same, it's the same exact speed. Priority mail is the same exact speed as first class. Now Express, you know, you pay more and that's different, but Priority Mail is just what they call first class packages now. That's all it is. But they make it sound good, like, oh yeah, they're gonna get it there fast. And then you pay a bunch of money. You could usually now, it used to be, the reason I used the post office is they were cheaper. But now, you can go to UPS or FedEx and and you can pay for that same speed from the that the postal service will have and they're actually cheaper in most cases they usually are cheaper 
And it's all because of the businesses, and especially Amazon, getting these low rates. So I want to let people know that. that and, and didn't they tell you at the post office that they're going to eliminate it where you can't, a regular person can't even send packages anymore? Yeah, the last time um, I sent a package off, um, I think it was we were sending some stuff to um, Eric's mom and uh, uncle in California and the person uh, which he's a manager over the the uh, post office and he I guess he was giving somebody a break or something but anyway he um, he asked what was in it and I said oh you know it's you know Christmas presents we need to you know send those off and he said he said well you won't be able to do that anymore in a while and I said why is that and he said because they're making it now where if I bought something in Alabama, and I know they don't have it in California, but I want to send it to, you know, my family member. Say I bought it at a thrift store. Say I found this beautiful picture and I wanted to buy, buy I bought it and I wanted to send it to a family member, just say California. I cannot buy it for myself and send it he said anymore you have to buy it through the company and the company will have to ship it it no longer will be able to have people just send something like say ebay say i've got a pair of pants and a girl buys it from me i can no longer mail a pair of pants to a girl um who bought a pair of pants from me she would have to go through a company like Walmart, Target, whatever the case may be, buy the item and then uh, have the company mill it off. So they're taking away you, you being able to, um, you being able to pretty much sell anything that you have. If you do try to sell something that you have you're now going to have to go back to yard sales and craigslist to sell something because you will not be able to ship it uh and you would have to sell it locally because you're not going to be able to just ship it to another state because they're making it now where you're going to have to go through a company to have it shipped and he said that was their way of protecting people and making sure that you know nothing hazardous you know because they always ask you is it <coughs> hazardous liquid, liquid perishable, perishable you know lithium batteries yeah something like that and um so yeah he's saying that that will be taken away eventually so in other words if you have something you're trying to sell on ebay pretty much you better get ready you're not going to be able to sell it through ebay as a person you may have to make your own little business and um uh, and uh say you're a business to in order to ship it so just to let y'all know basically big business is taking over the mail and if you need to send anything to anybody uh priority mail just a waste of money go with ups or fedex why you still can thanks for watching